Hello there, and welcome to your pamper session for today. Um, may I take your name, please? Um, I guess here we are. Okay. If you'd like to make your way down the hallway and to the room just on the right, you can just um, lay down on the bed. The room has been prepared specifically induce a relaxation state. Some vanilla scented candles, deep dark lighting, comfy bed. I hope you find it satisfactory. I'll be along in a moment. So basically, what we do here is we pump you. So um, first, we'll do the facial, and then um, while you're wearing your mask, we paint your nails, give you a manicure. So first of all, if you just, I see you've already taken your makeup off. Thank you. <laughs> so if you'd just like to pick out a face scrub from our selection. We have different scrubs, some, some more effective than others depending on your skin type. So here we have a salt scrub, specifically designed for oily skin, problem skin, acne prone skin, salt is good. And over here we have um, a softer scrub that has elderflower and extracts of different herbs. This is specifically designed for combination skin or normal skin. And then for dry skin, we have the other scrub here. So what kind of skin do you have? Dry skin. Right then, for the dry skin, you're better off with the salt scrub. So, if you just like to sit back and relax, I have a bowl of warm water here and a lovely massage sponge. So if you just close your eyes, I just take the sponge and just rub it over your face just to moisten the skin and open up your pores. If your pores are open by hot water when you start to cleanse your face you'll find it is much more much more effective. Okay there we go. How does that feel? Good? got to mention as well that um, we also have incense in this room um, we have different types we have ylang ylang jasmine uh, rose petals um, but for today I decided to go with jasmine it um, helps me sleep and it can be good for um, it smells good and it's good for headaches and things like that. Well, at least I think so anyway. Okay, so we've moistened up the face. I hope that feels good. Okay, so now I take the scrub, just put a little bit on my fingertips. Although this is salt based, it also has um, some fragrance in it. So, is your, do you have sensitive skin? No, that's good then. You should be okay with this then. Okay, so I'll just take a bit with a bit of water just to mix it into a lather. Then I'll start on the nose. The nose, the side of the nose, under the eyes, and the forehead down to the chin. This is what we call the T-zone. This is the most spot 
prone area of the face and this is the area which needs the most attention so I start with the nose very gently mix it just massaging it in an upward circular motion because you move it upwards because of the orientation of the hairs on your face and your pores this is the most effective way and because the hot water has opened up your pores this will be more effective too so start with the nose up to the forehead make sure you get right into the hairline as well the forehead can be hit or miss for some people mainly it's people who have fringes who most have spotty foreheads because of the oils from the hair but this is just something I've noticed, it's not proven or anything I know plenty of people with fringes who have very clear skin indeed ok, making my way across the forehead with both hands down past the eyes and then across to the nose again I'm being sure to um, to avoid the delicate skin under the eye this does not benefit from a salt scrub quite the opposite in fact it's best to leave this bit alone you should take good care of the skin below your eyes this is where wrinkles develop when we get older this is where our bags under our eyes develop with um, absence of sleep so it's this area that we need to take care of most I have some cream that we'll put on later ok, just making my way down the cheeks now and towards the chin it feels good this too with the hot water and the salt scrub it kind of feels like a massage feels good ok now I'm just going to make my way a couple of inches down the neck well, most people think that the neck isn't very prone to spots but this is what people miss the neck does get dirty the neck does need cleaning as much as the face so we'll just make our way down the neck Okay, is that okay? Yes, okay. Okay, I'll just leave that for a moment just to let the pores absorb the nutrients. Okay, so now I'll just take the same sponge as I've just used, it's still clean, and then I'll just Rinse off the salt scrub now. You don't need a soaking wet sponge, just a damp sponge, just to wipe it off any residue. Again, it's also best if you do this in an upward circular motion. So start on the nose, up the forehead, down and around the eyes and the cheeks and then down the chin and down the neck ok I need to do it once more because salt is very stubborn lord knows I know are open. I think now would be a good time to give you a mask to wear. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put your mask on and then while because you need to keep on masks for 10 minutes maximum it would be best if I did your nails while you were wearing the mask just to save time anyway right you mentioned you had dry skin well just a suggestion we have three different types of masks we have hydration masks which are they're not um, in liquid form these are actually they feel like cloth and they've been soaked in more commonly dead sea dead sea salt um, this is good for dry skin so this would be best for you otherwise we have a mud mask which is also good for dry skin but sometimes if you leave it on too long it can dry the skin out even more and then we have a peel off mask which is good for for problem or oily skin so which one? the hydration one good choice okay this one I have here is a Dead Sea face spa mask it's a piece of fabric and you just place it on your face for, for 5 to 10 minutes and it leaves your face lovely and smooth it has dead sea salt and pressed seaweed which leaves which calms the skin leaving it smooth and rehydrated so I'll just place this on now okay they're kind of awkward these because you have to peel out the mouthpiece yourself and then your fingers get all <laughs> sticky okay right if you just close your eyes and lay back there are eye holes so you'll be able to see the colors of your nails too okay I'll just place the back onto your face and then just press down to make sure that the mask is firmly onto your skin and that it doesn't fall off okay how does that feel? good right okay now now here we um we could file and paint the nails however you want so how would you like your nails doing today? choice a good old-fashioned French manicure that is my favorite a classy look goes with any outfit any occasion any season any weather it's just perfect for a classy woman such as yourself okay so I have the French pink and the French white for the tip of the nail are these satisfactory for you okay so in that case you can just sit back and close your eyes and I'll just do your nails for you so basically what I'm doing now I've just got a little bowl of solution if I dip the nails in this just softens them up and gets ready for the paint now we don't need a bottom coat because it's French pink plus it has um, some properties that actually help your nail so I'll just apply the French pink straight onto your nail so I'll just just with a cloth I'll just dry your nails there we go okay now I'll just add the French pink we don't need a very thick layer just a nice thin layer just to enhance the natural pinkness of the nail bed little finger second third index and the thumb and then the other one I always find it difficult to do my left hand 
I do my nails myself and I always go outside the lines. I'll clear that out. Here we just have a little dryer and it dries the nails in only a couple of seconds. It's very, very good. So, it hardly makes any noise either. So, I'll just place your hand in. Okay, this will only take a few seconds. Yeah, that should be done for that nail and the other nail and the other hand, sorry thank you that should do fine, thank you so now that's the French paint done now Just file the top of the nail. I find putting on the colour and then filing is um, better. That's just how I do it anyway. Okay, so we don't need much filing because your nails are already perfect. Just to round off the edges. a stencil here. I'm just going to place it over each nail just to help me. It's very very difficult to draw a straight pink line <laughs> without a stencil. <laughs> so it's just a sticker. It does not harm the nail in any way. Okay this doesn't take long either which is also very good. Again we don't need a thick layer just a nice thin layer at the top of the nail. your little finger ring middle index and thumb and the other hand the ring finger middle finger, the index, and the thumb. There. Okay, I'm gonna let just put those in the machine for a couple of seconds because we don't want to dry it out too much. I let it dry on its own, it has a nice gloss to it. There we go. And then the other hand. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's your nails done. And now I'll just remove your face mask. Some people make the mistake of leaving face masks on for too long, and it does more harm than it does good. Okay, so I'll be that. Obviously there will be some residue left on the face, so I'll just dispose of the mask. Okay, now, just with my fingertips, I'm just going to gently massage the face until the residue is completely absorbed by the skin. This shouldn't take too long. Okay, I'll just start on the forehead. Move my fingers down. See, I told you it was quick. Down the cheeks. Down the chin. Through the nose. In circular motions as we did before. If you don't mind my saying so, your skin already looks so clean. So pampered. now the last step of your pamper session is just to moisturize the skin regardless of oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, moisturizer 
is the most. It replenishes the skin, hydrates the skin, and helps it to renew itself while you're sleeping. Which is why sleep is also important. Okay, so... Right, this is the Moisturizer by Lucutane. And it is especially suitable for dry skin. It smells very nice and fresh. It smells a bit like cucumbers in my opinion. But it smells really good. This is very, very good for someone of your skin type. It's um, It's got a non-oil base. This way it will leave less residue on the skin and will absorb much quicker. Okay, so I'll just pour some on my fingertips. And again... Just working down the face from the forehead down the cheeks the nose and the chin and then down the neck some people tend to omit this is very bad many older women develop wrinkles on their necks because of a lack of moisturizing always moisturize your neck regardless of how old you are okay and now last but not least I have here some eye cream this is for all skin types so it's suitable for you this is a clear gel and it is Elderflower scented, it smells very nice. I'm just gonna pop a little bit onto my ring fingers, just pop a tiny amount on the skin under your eye and just rub it in if you'd look up, please. Thank you. There we go. And then if you'll close your eyes, please, I'll just pop some onto your lids and your brow bone. Thank you. Okay. Now this is the end of your pamper session, but you're more than welcome to stay here. I don't have another client for for another 20 minutes, so you can stay here for as long as you like. Thank you for coming, and when you're ready, you can come and join me for a drink.